Hello everybody, welcome back to some more Black Desert content. We're going to be continuing off and do another tell today. <laughs> Please, let my family, let be, my safe. family be safe. Heaven forbid something happen to them. <laughs> what on earth are you so devastated about? My God, I thought the sky was falling. Is it little... How is it, little chicken? Chicken rhyme? I can't remember that show. A movie. <laughs> my son! Oh, my son! Blue boils have appeared on his back! I don't sound good. <laughs> I stayed behind while the rest of my family left the village to find a cure. To think these blue boils were not merely rumors. All I can possibly do at my age is pray for their safety. Rumors say that when these boils burst, the patient disappears. Huh. There's no way to know if they ascended or not. Interesting. Uh, people disappearing into thin air? Hmm. Sounds like the trick of a fox with a few too many tails. I heard the chief of Darbol is a gifted healer. Have you visited him? Wouldn't he know a thing or two? Of course I have. He cured the plague. And yes, even he could even cure he these, blue boils. Heal these blue boils. There were rumors that some were cured after praying to the fox goddess. So they <clears> headed <throat> off to Yo Pass. Okay. But I'm not sure if they made it. Hongnim. Heard of them? A terrifying gang, gang of bandits. bandits. They came one day and took over Yo Pass. If my family ran into them before reaching the goddess, they'll... Hey, hey, don't say such things. Then is everyone praying for the same reason? Who do you think you are, interrogating these broken-hearted people about this and that? Who's this little rat? Think talking is cathartic for them? It won't do any good. You're so boxing dumb, honestly. Um, that's interesting. Huh? Big words for a little girl. And watch your language. I'm not doing any harm, and you should show some respect. And if I don't, you gonna suffocate me with your wrinkles? <laughs> If I were you, I'd shut up and do something for them. Interesting. You're not wrong. But why you gotta throw a fit like that? Everyone's staring at us. No need to fight. Yes. <laughs> you suddenly show you have a hospitable side. The transformation would impress even a kumiho. Uh, uh, a what? My word, I did as you asked and you're still yammering on? Where's your family, huh? Why are you picking a fight with me? <gasps> Everyone, look! This man's trying to fight a child! Oh, you're so gross and smelly. What? I, what? Gross and smelly? Ha! <laughs> Listen here. You know who I am? I'm Dose of Hanji County. Dose of Hanji like County. Like I said, I don't care who you are. It's know-it-all dumbos like you who really take me off. Know-it-all dumbos. Getting a gumi ho as the culprit for just a few boils? This is all probably thanks to that quack of a healer chief. Oh, what? I quack. never said gumi ho. All I said was a fox with a couple of tails. You cheeky little. We must have been enemies in our past life. What are you so riled up about? Because she's probably the fox. I'm off. Traveler, let's go. Or one of the other things in question. The fox goddess wouldn't even bat. Is she okay? This is odd. Real strange. Oh, he's got some on his body. Thing is, I was getting chills down my spine, so I left quick as I could. I got some kind of bruise. Ah, it's so itchy. Could it be that boil that they were talking about? C couldn't be, right? I'm just overthinking. Head to the apothecary first. I'll follow after giving this a look over. Get there quick. Miss Flowers bloomed. Huh? Who are you? Don't tell me you're here about boils. 
about boils. It's about those boils are wasting your time. How many must I turn away for you to understand I can do nothing? I'm just curious what they it's are. It's like I'm that ghost those blue-eyed people at Dale Pier call Yellian or whatever. What are you talking about? You're the chief. You're responsible for the people of your village. If there's nothing you can do, at least ask the Hyungam to relieve the curfew for the sick and send them to the capital. I see. What did you say? When did I ever turn a blind eye to my village? I earned my title as chief by ridding this village of the plague. Then how about you do some ridding for me too? First my back started itching and then I find this red boil on my arm. Is it blue? Oh, it's red. Hmm. Bring it here. Oh, but it seems I'm out of herbs. The you scale. have no herbs, then you send your patients to fetch them? What kind of apothecary is this? Oh, he is just in a I'm bad the mood. the chief who's offering aid when you belittled him. And on top of that, I'll do it for half my usual fee. Be grateful. All this muttering of me being a quack hasn't got me in the best of moods. Here, drink up. Every drop. Ha, ha, ha. Ah, ah, burn my mouth. Oh. <sighs> but this is going to do miracles. I can feel it. All right. Come, let me take a look at it. I see. Huh? It'll kick in that quickly? Is this how the Plague Savior shows off? Do you think I'm called a healer for nothing? Huh? But why isn't it working? Unbelievable. You failed to cure this too, eh? Oh, my vision's blurring. Huh. Poor old Dulce. He's on his way to the next life. He's going on about Wait, it. This, this isn't your average boil. I, no, it can't be. It's Foxpox. Foxpox. We must go to Yo Cave, where the Fox Goddess dwells. It's near Henning Village in Yo Pass. Eh? Why? This ain't a blue boil. Why are you looking at me like I'm gonna die? Because you are. This is a mark of death. But all the foxes should be dead. No, a little child's a fox. No I'm telling you. My father, who I thought was just another hunter. Turned out to be one of those who hunted foxes. He hunted only foxes? What's so special about that? Do those kind of hunters use some sort of fox magic? Fox magic? No. My father hunted the foxes with many tails. I've read about these symptoms in his book. There isn't. Unless a fox is willing to cure it itself. Otherwise, all that's left is to beg the fox goddess for your life. The fox goddess guides single-tailed foxes on their journey to become heavenly foxes. Interesting. <laughs> ah, to think I'd ever see this myself. Never imagined there are still traces of foxes left in Dongye. Dongye. What am I gonna do? I thought it was just a run-of-the-mill boil. Please Traveler, save please me. save me. Calm I have down. a wife waiting back in Seoul, and I'm still a foolish young man with a head full of die. dreams. I like you too much to let you die. But remember what the old man said about the Honglin bandits at Yo Pass? What about them? Huh? We should scout it out. We could head to higher bandits live next door. How on earth can they smile so peacefully? Hmm. This village is quite peculiar. A layer of bandits lies right next door, and yet there have never been any troubles. Ah, I'm seeing many new faces today. I'm a scholar, Osan, and this is the revered Sung-san. Nice oh, to meet Jim you. Again. You can call me Sung-san. My job is to travel all throughout this country as a map maker. This place is not one that you just stumble upon. What brings you here? Yes, you'll find the village down this path. To have come all the way here. Something must weigh heavily on your mind. If Just that burden Dosuke. concerns the rumored Hongnim bandits, <laughs> rest easy. They're actually protecting Hednim village. Well, that explains what I've observed from up here. Most seem to quietly go about their lives, only leaving occasionally to hunt. Yes, I was born here. Hednim is my hometown. It's a village that is as radiant as its name. 
Oh, ho, ho, we made it. Finding this place was a trip. Is it true that boils can be cured by praying at your cave? Boils? I'm afraid I've been gone far too long to be of any help. You're better off going to see for yourself. Let's go. Handsome son, let us head down together as well. The wandering merchant will have arrived by now. My name, Bokdari, doesn't mean I'm out of luck. It means I'm lucking out, you see? <laughs> That's pretty good. You came from Tarbol? And do you know my little sister, Sarang? She's working there as a blacksmith. Well, isn't that just the prettiest name? But we're in a bit of a hurry. How do we get to Yowu Cave? Yeah, yo Cave. Yowu Cave? You won't be able to get in right now. It's overrun with people infected with blue boils. Uh oh. Huh? Is that so? Has anyone been cured? Hmm. No. Well, I've never seen a red boil before. But our fox goddess is a compassionate one, so don't you worry. Anyways, while you're waiting to get in, would you mind bringing me some fresh meat? Of sure. course, of course. Traveler, I'll leave it to you. What kind of meat would this fox goddess prefer? Hmm? Oh, no, 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 no. It's not for the fox goddess. I want it for the expecting mothers over there. I see. You know, helping them would be a suitable offering as well. Dorse. Rice porridge alone won't do much for a mother's health. Rice porridge. Oh! Oh my! What is all this meat? Did Bokdari tell you to help take care of the mothers? Oh, thank you so much. How could I repay such kindness? The mothers' faces will brighten as soon as they get a whiff of it. That's nice. Oh, there's a saying here that women who drink the waters of Yowu Cave will be fertile. I see. And women who give birth here will enjoy a long, healthy life alongside her offspring. That's why even women from other villages seek out this place. Though, the rumors of bandits have thinned the crowds. But it's all a misunderstanding. They're not here to harm us. Hosan is close friends with Sanda, the captain of Honglim. I see. I'm caught a scare quick. Yo, yo, pass. Don't get the knowledge. I'm Hosa, a horse whisperer. This power is all thanks to the fox goddess. A horse <laughs> whisperer, huh? What are you doing here? Everyone is usually busy making their way into Yowu Cave. Is something wrong with your home? You want to know about the relationship between Hongim and this village? Hmm. Best to see for yourself. Hmm. Alright, that's why I'm stopping this episode. I don't want it to run too much longer. So, with that being said, thank you for watching. Please take care. I do look forward to seeing you all again in part two.